you have been kind you have been just you have been our friend you have been our defender our strong tower our shield our knight in shining armor you have been our healer you still our God you're the air that we breathe Lord you're simply everything to us we bless your name we worship you God you're worthy of our praise. You're worthy of our adoration. Come on, somebody, it only takes a minute. We thank you. We thank you, God. We thank you for restoration. We thank you for peace. We thank you for your strength. We thank you for joy. We thank you for the children you've given us. We thank you for our families. You did not wait for me to draw near to you. But you clothed yourself with real humanity. You let me hear your voice calling me And I'm forever grateful to you I'm forever grateful for the cross I'm forever grateful to you
blessing to bless the name of the Lord and to beg the name of the Lord for the name of the Lord is a strong and mighty tower where we the righteous run to and we are saved come on somebody lift those hands and bless the name of the Lord I know what I'm doing hold your neighbor's hand and bless them okay come on somebody hold your neighbor's hand pour into them and bless them sweet Holy Ghost we are empty right now feel us Sweet Holy Spirit, we are very empty, fill us. I am nothing without you, Lord. I cannot do anything, Holy Spirit. Fill me right now. Let me be a vessel that you use this morning. Let me be a vessel that you will use this morning, O oh God. For the Bible says in your house there are various vessels. May I be a vessel of gold, Lord, that I will add value unto your people, my God. Permit not any word to proceed out of my mouth that is not from you, Lord. I submit myself, O oh God, to the Holy Spirit. And I receive an unction from above right now in the name of Jesus. I come against every path of darkness, every path of destruction, confusion. In the name of Jesus, I bind every devil in Jesus' mighty name. On all sides, in the name of Jesus. I release angels right now. I lift my hands right now to call upon the help of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I'm just empty. I'm just empty. I'm just empty. Use me. Sanctify me, O oh God. Purify me, O oh God. Purify your people, Lord. Open the eyes of our hearts in the name of Jesus. And the ears of our minds, O oh God. That we may receive from the Holy One. For the Bible says you have received an unction from the Holy One. And you know all things. May we live here with, with addition of knowledge. For the glory of our Father. Father, I bless you. I give you praise. For in Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Okay, everybody standing up on your feet. Everybody standing up on your feet. I want you to make a joyful noise. I want you to make a joyful noise. Come on, somebody you can do better than that. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. 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 Find a neighbor and bless them right now. Say, I command five miracles in your life. Give them high five and command a blessing. Right now, you are, you are a prophet right now that can never lie. Bless them. Look for five people. I don't see you. Those online look for five people. Bless them and give them a high five and say, I bless you with an everlasting blessing. Woo. You may be seated in the heavenly places. Come on, somebody. And give a Lord a mighty hand of praise with your, with your hands and bless the name of the Lord. I don't see you. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Let us celebrate the angel of this church, Pastor Godfrey Owori. Come on. I don't want to make you uh, give me 10 push ups. Ask the choir. If I tell them to do something and they don't do it, they give me 10. So I said, celebrate the angel of this church. Come on. Apart from me and the Holy Spirit, nobody's moving until we are done. As simple as that. I want to respect all the pastors. Pastor Jo, uh, <laughs> she is my best friend, my good friend. Trust me, we are fighting wars and we are fought wars. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, whatever war you're fighting, you're not alone. The naked truth, you're not alone. I just want to encourage somebody watching me online. 
Whatever you're going through, <laughs> you're not alone. God promised he will never abandon you or leave you, nor forsake you. For his worthy is yes and amen. And he can never go against his word. Amen. I just want to bless the Lord for my life. We have the biggest number of followers online. So let us clap for the online church and bless the Lord for them. Come on. You're so selfish. I command that spirit of selfishness to leave the minds of men. I said celebrate the online church and say, thank God for them. Right now as we speak, people are watching us from Mexico. People are watching us from Uganda. People are watching us from Arab countries. What a blessing to be a blessing. This morning, the Lord will help me. Everybody repeat after me. Say, Father. Come on, lift your voice and say, Father. Speak through that man. And speak to my life. Edify me. Speak what I'm saying. Edify me. Motivate me. And rebuke me. For your glory. In Jesus' name. All right. I'm Isaac Mugabe Chaligonza. Minister of the Most High God. Genesis in chapter 3 verses 1 to 11. Tonight I will be slow as I am always slow. I am not a preacher with a lot of strength because I don't have that strength. Human strength. But I will download as I hear from the Father. And I believe by the time we leave this place we will be totally delivered. I want to encourage you the greatest deliverance man needs is the deliverance of the mind. You did not get what I said. The greatest deliverance man needs is not this falling down and rolling on the ground. That is good. I don't dispute it. Neither do I decampaign it. But the greatest, the greatest deliverance man needs is the mindset. Everybody say mindset. Because everything you're going to do lies within you. For the Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence for whatever all issues of life proceedeth out of your life. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, whatever is going to destroy you lives within you, not outside. And whatever controls, whatever, whatever is inside of you controls what's around you. So whatever you do in this life, make sure you fight for your inner man. Because if your inner man is strong, your outer man is going to be stronger. You didn't all get it. If you're fasting, you're fasting to edify your inner man. If you're praying, you're praying to edify your inner man. So whatsoever you do, whatsoever man doeth, must make sure you edify your inner man. Because if you're weak inside of you, you're weak outside of you. They did not get it. I, I, I. I just want to ask you, everybody pay your undivided attention. Ten years from now, you don't see me. But whatever I'm going to speak right now will be remembered after ten years. I remember when I was in the Bible school five years ago. My lecturer told me, whatever we're teaching you right now is not going to help you now. It's gonna, it will help you in the near future. Right now, what I, what I was told is helping me now. So whenever you see somebody standing before you downloading from the Father, open your ears. Ladies and gentlemen, let me, ask, let me ask you tomorrow to come here. Because I know whenever we pray, we invoke God to do the supernatural. Do not, if you are weary, weary in the Lord. If you are weak, be weak in the Lord. For the Bible says our weakness makes him strong. Did you get what I said? If you are weak, if you are to weep, weep in the Lord. This is a secret. If you want to cry, cry. It's acceptable. But don't cry before man. Cry before God because he has an answer to everything you're crying about. He has an answer to everything that is torturing you. I have realized, pastor, that whatever man needed is in the hand of God. And it's useless in the hand of God. But it's very useful in your hand. God has properties. God has wives and husbands. God has citizenship and all the documents. They are very useless in the hand of God. 
but they become useful to him when they're in your hand. So whenever you pray, pray as if God is going to give it to you. For this is the total confidence I have in God. Whenever we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Mindset. I'm not a preacher that will preach like VJs that I will narrate the Bible. I don't narrate the Bible. I just want to get an unction that will give us revelation for a manifestation of greater things in our lives. Ministry without results is as good as not being in ministry. I don't want anybody. A mama wabana mukwato muyonsi ni wabam yaka kumi yonsa. Nchidi online. Obuloko zobutari results. It is as good as being in, in, in the world. I have told my, myself I will not die no more. I'm not going to live a normal life. I want to tell you tonight, don't settle for less. Don't settle for mediocrity. There is much more. I'm telling you there is much more. If somebody has made it, you can make it twice. If somebody has ever got it, you can get it more than they got it. But the, the mystery of receiving from God is receiving it in your mind. Before you possess it in your hand, possess it in your mind. Oh, she girl. Before you possess it in your hand, possess it in your mind. But whatever, whatever rules your mind are your words. Your words. Everybody say words. Confession. Come on, repeat after me. Confession is possession. Even God in his sovereignty, he could not do anything unless he confessed. I'm going to show you the power of your words. Have you realized things you used to, speak, to talk about, you've, you've conformed to them? Or the things you used to speak about, you've attracted them to come in your life? I swear upon God, I remember when I was in Uganda. There is something I used to speak, it's not good. But right now, I am seeing it before me. I used to speak it with ignorance. But right now I'm possessing it with knowledge. I used to just speak. Don't just speak. Because there is a spirit. Words are not words. Words are spirit that will go to your spirit. God has a mystery why he says let the weak say. Because he knows after confessing it, there, there are spirits that will make it manifest in your life. What are you speaking today? Am, am I barren? Because I've not given birth? Because I, I, I'm, I'm past 30? I cannot get... Uh, whatever you confess, you're going to possess. If I ask this, this gentleman who told us about the company, then I believe that he must have confessed about it over and over again. I used to tell my people down in Uganda that one day I will be preaching in America. And by that time, I did not have even a passport. I was only 14 years. I've been in ministry since five years. Yeah. Somebody say, whoa. But we have seen good days and bad days. But during the bad days, we could confess the good days. I remember my father used to wake up every night and confess over us. This man will be a lawyer. This, man, this woman will be an, a manager. This one will be a great preacher. The, and the guy used to speak crazy things. When you wake up, I used to wake up and I'm like, really? We did not eat Mr. Man. Your present situation does not reflect where you're going. I swear upon the living God, your present situation does not what to Reflect where you're going. For the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verses 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time. Are not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. For the unexpected expectation waits for the manifestation of the children of God. Let me tell you ladies and gentlemen. It's just a matter of time. You're about to go where God has created you to be. You're about to possess your possession. Whenever you see opposition. There is a position for a possession. I want you to stick on what God has called you to do. Let me tell you, good times should reflect, bad times should reflect good times. 
Whenever you see intensification of bad days, there is glorification in good days. The online church will get it, you're cold, because it's winter. Let us, let us preach. Genesis chapter 3, verses 1. I want to show you the power of words. Power of confession. Yes, ma'am. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, mm. Has God indeed said, You shall mm. not eat of every tree of the Having earth? a conversation with the enemy, giving that devil just one minute of your life, it would take ten years of your time. Give that devil only one minute, he would take full hour. You still, we are going to preach. Standing. Give that devil one hour. It's going to take one year. Conversation. Yes. I'm going to read verse one again. And yes, ma'am. Now the servant was more cunning than any other beast of mm. the field which the Lord had made. And he said to the woman, has mm. God indeed said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Mm -hmm. And the woman said to the serpent, mm -hmm. we may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden. But. but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, mm -hmm. God has said, you shall not eat it, nor shall mm. you touch it, lest you die. Mm. The serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. You will not die. Thus says the enemy. Come on. Mm -hmm. For God knows that in the day you eat it, mm -hmm. your eyes will be open, open. and you'll be like God, knowing open. good and evil. Mm -hmm. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, Danger. and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree... Desirable to one, mm -hmm. to make one wise, mm -hmm. she took of its fruit and ate it. She also gave her husband with her, mm -hmm. and he ate. Mm -hmm. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, mm -hmm. and they saw big leaves together, mm -hmm. and made themselves coverings. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called Adam and said, Where are you? Where are you? So he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I, and I was afraid because I was naked, and mm. I hid myself. Mm. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Mm -hmm. Have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded that you should not eat? Who told you you're naked? I'll uh, start from there. Who told you? God came after these guys have, 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 have sinned. You know, God is so wise. He gave them an opportunity to, to repent. This conversation uh, God had with Adam, he gave him an avenue. Let me tell you one thing. I have seen woes break up because of just a mere word. I have seen marriages start up because a word. The wife you have, or the husband you have, they spoke a word that went to your spirit and turned the way you see things. Let me speak to somebody. The marriage you're in, pastor, that man spoke to you before you could see him just like a normal man. But after speaking to you, the words carried, carry weight. They went to your spirit. The Bible says after the trumpet spoke to Eve, the, she even the perspection that way she used to see things before that the tree was in the garden she used to see it but in another way but after the word went to her spirit I can tell you this that man spoke to you spoke sweet words into your spirit and you even changed the way you used to see him do you know it's very easy to cook for a man that is not married to you? Because they speak to you, sweet talk to you. They change the way you see them. You used to see them as Isaac, but now you see him as sweetheart. You cannot live, because, because, you cannot live without this guy. Because he spoke into your life. 
when God wanted to deliver the children of Israel, he sent a messenger to speak and change the way they used to see their situation. They were comfortable in captivity, but after receiving a word, they changed the way they were... Uh, 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 they don't get this. They don't get this. The Lord must speak to you. The Bible says, and the Lord spoke to me. The Lord must speak to you to change your mentality. Right now, some people are here, but they are home. Remember the way you, the way you left your bed. See the way you left your bed. Do you know that I've, I've drove your mind back home, but your body is here? Now somebody is looking at the clothes they left on the bed, the clothes they left on the floor. Because there is power in the word. This word, if it's negative, it's going to create negative situations. If your confessions and your words are positive, they are going to create a positive situation. Let me tell you the, the, the truth. Everything that we are going to be, we are going to confess it. Even God in his sovereignty, he could not do nothing unless he had the word. The Bible said he was with the word. Chigambo. You find somebody speaking all sorts of things. God, your heart don't just speak because you're not just speaking words. You're communicating within, in the heavenly places, in the spiritual realm. I cannot do it. Yes, sir, you cannot do it. But if you say you can do it, yes, you can do it. Whenever you say you can do it, there's, there, are, there are powers you attract. Impossibilities have become possible to some people because of the way they confess. Because your confession changes your mentality and your perspective. This guy called Idi Amin was a very good orator. The guy used to speak and scare the great. With your words, you can defeat somebody who is greater than you. Ask David. He came and looked at Goliath and he said, Ah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, fear came into this young man. He saw one giant and said, Oh my God, but there is, there is a mystery in spoken words. He said, I come to you in the name of God. He was invoking an attracting power of God. Let me tell you, your words are attracting a certain power to work in your life. Oh my God, in the new Basimani. Oh my God, I don't know whether I can make it. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. In fact, your words are attracting. Let me tell you, whenever you speak, you attract certain spirits. Even the devil waits for your speech to manifest it. The devil cannot do anything if you shut up. They did not get it. Even the devil waits for your word. He will carry your word and take it to full manifestation. But there are people who are saying, let the laws change. Let the heavens change. Let the people change. Let everybody abandon me. Let somebody leave me. Let me get this divorce. But I know one thing, my redeemer live. And on that day, he will redeem me. Let me tell you, I have seen men, I have seen people do great things when they are weak. There were four lepers. Hey, Jesus. There were four lepers. One of them introduced a word. Why sit we here, lest we die? But if we go, if we are to die, we are going to die. One of them introduced a word. You can introduce a word in your marriage and your marriage collapses. They did not get what I say. One word, or you are an idiot. A woman, men, let me, let, me, let me speak to men. Never speak to these women negatively. I will come back to women also. Celebrate a little. Women were created to multiply whatever you give to them. Give them one seed inside of their belly, they, will, they can even give you for children. They multiply everything you give unto them. You give them one negative word, they are going to multiply it and give you woe. Let me tell you, women are just so, so sarcastic because you speak one word and they ex... Hey! If they give it to you back, pressed together, running over, and they will give it to you. No wonder why... What, for, last night I was... Uh, can I say it or should I leave it? I woke up at night at, at, at night to pray at around three. 
And I had some fights somewhere on my neighbors. Did you hear some fights? Some blows. One blow started with a woman speaking. I, I overheard them. A woman was shouting till morning because a man spoke only one word. You speak one word, a woman will multiply it, sanctify it, purify it, edify it, motivate it, and give it to you in form of war. So, one thing am I, uh, what am I trying to say? Guard your mouth. Be selective of what you speak. And be selective to whom you speak to. Because some people are going to multiply it to you. They don't get what I say. This, I, I, am I preaching to somebody? Am I preaching to somebody? God is waiting for your speech. He's waiting for your confession. He's waiting for... Confession is creation. If you confess something, I am weak right now, but I declare in the name of the Father, I will be strong because my God is strong. The Bible says down to Zerubbabel, speak to this mountain. You mountain, who are you before me? The Bible knows if you speak, you are going to cause fear in this situation but if you keep quiet the situation will think it got you let me tell you whatever you're facing whatever you fear fears you let me tell you whatever you're looking for is looking for you but he's not looking for this version he's looking for an upgraded version of you I can speak this till tomorrow. Whatever you're looking for is looking for you, but it's not looking for this version. It's looking for an upgraded version of you. How do we upgrade our versions? By speaking the word of God. The Bible says in his word, I, he was bruised. He was... Uh, ah! The Bible says in, in, in Isaiah chapter 53, who has believed our message? Who has believed our who has believed my speech? I declare upon your life. Let the world be taken back to Uganda. You and me can never be taken. Let mountains be moved, but you can never be moved. Let everybody remain barren, but you can never remain barren. For greater is he that is in me. David said, I come to you in the name of the of a father. This guy, this guy was weak. By the time he composed the psalm, though I walked through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. It means evil was there and fear was there. But his they sing I have seen people who sing they liberate nations look at Luther what's the name uh, what? Martin Luther King he used the power of his speech the power of his word to change the mentality of men those who thought of, of slavery they started saying okay we can become bosses we can become independent we can become free let me tell you your freedom lies on your tongue the bible says in his word the power of death and life lies on your tongue the bible says power of death and life he would have said life and death he said death first because people are negative because if you're negative you're gonna attract the negative and whenever you possess the negative you're gonna live a negative rejected life i have seen musicians take over kingdoms because they use the power of their speech they use the power of their songs they use the power of their articulacy they use the power of their knowledge but you can never confess that which you don't know no, knowledge Woo. you want to make it in life i'm asking somebody do you want to make it in life let your speech change tonight. Tell your neighbor, you better change your speech. You better change, change your confession. The words of your affirmation and confirmation must be in line with the word of God. Somebody say amen. Shout hallelujah. I have seen the weak become weaker because of the words they speak. I have seen the lame become lamer because of the word they speak. I have seen the rejects become rejected more and more because of the words that speak. You were in jail. Our, our pastor Raymond said he was in the school of understanding, of correction. But his confession never changed. Let me tell you the naked truth. Times are going to come when you feel things are not working out. 
We have taught people to think that every time things are going to be good. I don't want anybody to move. I don't want anybody to talk. I don't want anybody to look at me. Pay good attention. By the time I'm done with you, I'll be done with your situation. In the name of Jesus. I have seen people become more rejected because they confess rejection. Let me tell you, when I was denied a visa, this time, I was denied a visa twice in two months. few months back I'm not speaking 20 years ago I'm speaking 4-5 months ago they rejected me twice but now here cometh the word of the Lord in my mouth I started saying I cannot be I, I was not denied I was delayed they did not get it they did not get it. Come on, come on. You, you, you don't get it. I was never denied. I was delayed. But delay doesn't mean deny you. I am about to step where I've been denied. I'm about to go. I'm about to possess what has been taken away from me. The, let me tell you, the Lord told me in the morning to declare, and I'm declaring right now, restoration. Those things were taken. Restoration is a mandate. Restoration is a right to a children of God. Some of you, you lost something. Come on. Yes, you lost it. But I confess in the name of the Lord, your loss was not lost. Your setback was not a setback. Your setback is a setup for a comeback. In the name of Jesus, I am about to preach with the great. I am about to dine with the great. I am about to feast with the great. That says the Lord of hosts. He is about to take me where I've never gone. He is about to lift you where you've never been. He's about to connect you where you every connection comes with this connection. Every connection comes with a disconnection. You want God to connect you to somebody of value? Disconnect yourself from people who are not worth it. You want God to connect you to some... Uh, 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 you can disconnect yourself from people who are saying it is impossible. Disconnect yourself from people who are bringing news that don't edify you. Disconnect yourself. Come on, somebody, disconnect yourself. They are dead. They are dead. There are numbers in your phone you have to delete. Because there are people in your phone call you have to block. They are quite a deprido. She take come on. Am I preaching to somebody? There are people who are useless in your life. And they are making your own life to be like a similitude of their lives because they failed they are preaching failure in your life because they were defeated they are preaching defeat in your life come on disconnect yourself from such people they pick up a phone and they, they let me tell you to come to let me tell you oh shit I'm left with five minutes and I'm there are people the Lord that Satan has given grace to disgrace people. Disconnect yourself from such people. This grace is just an enemy from the pit of hell. The devil has anointed his own, has given them grace to disgrace people. But the Lord has given you grace to grace other people. The Lord strong and mighty in battle. Somebody picks up a phone call in the morning and to give you only bad news. I hear some people call me. One the last week, somebody called me and told me, Pastor Isaac, I want to tell you something. And I told that lady, are you talking about somebody else or talking about yourself? He said, I want to tell you news about somebody. I said, I don't want your news. Unless you're speaking about yourself because that's the way I can help you. I cannot help somebody who is not hearing us. God is anointing men. Even the devil is anointing men. People are... There is, if you think there is contention for land on earth, no. There is contention of bodies in heaven. The devil is contending for bodies to use. In this dispensation of grace, the Lord is calling about some people to... Ah! Every year, when the year begins, I hold my phone. And so will I do it this year. 
delete every person who is not worth it you're looking for hundred dollars with one thousand phone calls that means your phone calls are all useless the contact are so useless you're looking to do a business you're looking for a job but you have one thousand people followers on facebook they are all useless it's time to delete you are the ceo of your life you are the ceo of your life it's time we delete Am I preaching to somebody? There are relationships you have to cut. A relationship is a ship taking you somewhere. But if that ship takes you nowhere, you jump out of that ship and say, let me wait up another. Relationship are ships taking us somewhere. But you find somebody stuck in a ship going nowhere. Only things they will tell you are if you want to see confusion in an organization, introduce a word. You want to see confusion in a choir, introduce a word. You want to see edification of men, introduce a word. Everything is after introduction of a word. Because there is a spirit that carries your word and take it in the heart of man to make manifestation and expressions. Hmm. The Bible says if you go before God, pray and say he would have said me when you go before god pray and keep quiet and meditate he said and and say our father who is in heaven allow way be thy name thy kingdom come tonight i want to speak to somebody you're captive because of the confessions of your mouth Even when I'm sick, I will say I'm strong. Some of my friends know it. When I tell them I'm strong, it means I am weak. When I tell them I'm strong, it means I am sick. But I will never say... Last time I was in Florida, two weeks back. On sitting on the plane, a cold came from nowhere. I was like, oh no, I want to enjoy this city. How do you call it? Sun city? What do you Oh man, it is beautiful. But on sitting on board, a cold came and I started confessing by his stripes, I'm healed. I cannot fall sick because I have a big mandate. But when somebody is sick, you'll be like, Pastor Joy Bay, on the summer, Pastor Godfrey, the choir, Sijakuja, whatever that in farms go out in fact to Jack Fogwell. But now I want to name it in Mujiba Buse. But now you gone last week, last. To yesterday, I was speaking to four of my friends in Uganda, and everybody was saying, Banaye Chirieno, Obuavuwe Yongede. I told them we do not rely on the economy of the earth. We rely on the economy of heaven. When the Bible says when there is a casting down, the righteous shall say, there is a lifting up. They shall say, they shall say, they shall say, they shall say, you must say. If you want to see a job, say you have a job. If you want to have money, say you have money. If you want to Even those that died said I'm dying. I went one day in a, mo uh, in a uh, uh, how do you call this, a cemetery. There was a big wedding. It was a big wedding here in America. We were once like you. You will soon join us. I was like, no way. No. I was like, what? And you know what they had said? If we were once like you. You will soon join us. Speak it. Me, speak that. Listen, I told them you are once like me. I will never be like you. Let me tell you, it's simple. You can change situations. You can change the mindset of somebody. You can. About Uganda, you, 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 men. Where, are, where are men? I wonder, Pastor, why are there women conferences all over, but there are not men conferences? You are empowering women for who? You are empowering women for who? To go to the unpaid. To no wonder now men have. Osangwa musajari mumira akola ko makeup. 
men you find Mr. Mugabe in a mirror me I want to be handsome in a mirror you must hand something to be handsome hand something to be handsome you not you say you somebody say I'm beautiful I'm handsome every woman follows you they will not follow you all confession man it's time to take our responsibility back it's time to take our mandate back let me tell you it all started with Adam listen when God came listen I'm winding up with this listen listen this irresponsibility you see right now it became it it was it was after now you see that we have shifted responsibility to to women and god has blessed every opportunity is every responsibility is an opportunity now men have shifted their responsibility into the hands of ladies and they have given their opportunity and the blessings of the opportunity in the hands of ladies no wonder women are paying bills and we are sleeping no wonder women are buying us cars and we are driving them no wonder women are dressing us up it wasn't so the bible said god created man and women male and female he created he them that means god created man first and he gave him a mandate listen this is how it began God came to Adam and said what have you done and he replied as an irris he said the lady you gave me shifting responsibility God did not deal with Adam again he went to the one who was given responsibility and said Eve what have you done now even Eve in, in, in her stupidity he shifted blame and responsibility to the serpent and God told serpent what have you done the serpent didn't didn't shift responsibility to nothing. No wonder we fear snakes like nothing because we give them power to molest us. No wonder men fear women because we give them responsibility. They don't get what I'm saying. But until we come back to our own understanding, until we come back to our uh, somebody say yes. Ah! I'm about to preach with the great. I'm about to dine with the kings. I'm a, where is Methibosis? I may be the Methibosis. I may be lame, but I'm about to sit with the great kings. For that is my destiny. I'm destined for greatness. My company is about to hire thousands and thousands of people. Let me tell you, sir. Let me prophesy into your life. Your company shall be great. Your company will not fail. Your company shall hire men and women of such. Let me bring it to understanding. Come on, listen. Listen, 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 listen. I did not come here. Listen. <laughs> the anointing of God, the spirit of God has already taken out this place. I did, listen. I did not come to excite you. I'm preaching reality of life. If you're hiring 1,000 people, even though you don't have papers, this government cannot take you. Because it knows you're adding value to the society and the taxes are going to the treasury. If you're adding nothing to this government, when they're taking you, they will take you very fast. Make sure wherever you go, you add value. And you can add value with your words. You can add value with your confession. If God places you in the hand of a relationship, come on, give a lot of mighty praise in other God. Women, I've come to women now. Men are looking for women of substance. They are looking for me, for women who can add value, speak life into their men. We struggle a lot in life. You struggle nine months with pregnancy, but I will struggle for a lifetime with that child, uh, that child or children. We need a woman who can say it is able. We can do it, even when everything is done and dead. We can still move, honey. We can move, honey. Things are gonna work out, honey. You're gonna be great. Only you're gonna be delivered. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You find a woman speaking negative. 
Watch not such a cheese. I never need to allow. I never allow. You look at somebody who is a fool. The Lord is not looking for foolish women. The Lord is looking for Abigails who can say, though my husband is a fool, but I will speak something. The Bible says, listen. It's in your Bible. Abigail, when. Ah, Abigail, a lady, served the family. David was ready to come and besiege the family to clear everything in the family. But a woman ran, Abigail ran and said, Master, I know the foolishness of my man. He's called, he's called, what's the name of the guy? Nepal, Nepal means a fool. There are some men who are fools. They don't know how to handle finances. They don't know how to handle their lives. They don't know how to handle their health. But you need an... an a lady, listen, a lady served the entire nation of the Jews. Esther went to the king and said, Oh, behold, king, my heart is sorrowful. Come and eat some food. Just know what your man needs and prepare it and see how this man is going to treat you. You think a man wants to treat you? I cannot call you honey because you don't deserve honey. You deserve to be called something else because that's what proceeds out of your mouth. If you are a fool, you be a fool. I will call you a fool. But a man can never call a woman a fool. Keep on defying them even when they are weak in their ways. Hey, Jesus Get up on your feet right now, everybody. Get up on your feet. Get up on your feet. Woo! Shit, Empire, Baba. Let break those sacred. Lift those hands, everybody. Everybody, lift those hands and pray. And say, Father in heaven. Confess my, whatever I'm telling you. Father in heaven, I come before you. Cleanse my mouth. That whatever proceeds out of my mouth, Edify somebody, sanctify somebody, encourage somebody. Use me, oh Lord, to be a blessing in lives. In Jesus' name. Now, listen, this is the last thing. From today, you have the power to create, and that power lies on your tongue. If you, want, if you want next year to be a good year for you, start confessing it now. If you want marriage next year, let me tell you guys, if, even when a man has, come, has proposed to you, it's not enough. Listen. Even after proposal. Even after marriage. Confess. Continue confessing her. In the normal me wanga to genda paka kuchina na tuwezika. Feteria tu yingirida. In fact, tu yingirida fa. Tu yingirida ta genda. Eh eh. Every gamba of your yoga be so bola. I am empowering you this morning. Your words can turn around things. Next year, I have four nations that I'm gonna travel. Four, and I don't pay a ticket. I'm telling you. We are not just about using the mukeng and them. Nzira yomo San City. We are not saw mula burundi. Mpumule. Your confession is your possession and is your creation. Abala la wabala mere dua. We are getting go itawo. Katilo chetiwa. Katonda na gamba musa. Why are you crying to me? Lift your rod and speak to the sea. Mama nyabo. He said, lift. Yogira, Bible ya gamba zekeri yogere ya magumba makalu. Speak unto the dry bones to get flesh. Some of you, after this service, you're gonna speak unto your account. You're gonna speak unto your treasuries. You're gonna speak unto your CV. You're gonna speak unto your ministry. Let me tell you, even preachers, listen, listen. I'm commanding results that I nanga rusi ne gamba na yenza chikolecho oba sinzi. Ebi to be a pastor, Bantu Bakubi Babicola. Nadi, a Florida and a bamboo. How old are you? And I told them my age that I'm 22. And they were like, No, you can't be 22. You're doing things that are about our kids and 22. 
Tugendera. Kansas Sari, I am 19. Let me tell you, you can speak with knowledge and people will be like, oh, no, so I'm telling you, whatever proceeds out of your mouth must edify and motivate. Uh, media companies, let me tell you, Pastor, this is the last thing. Information more than ever. Information companies are, are, ruling, are ruling the world. Look at Facebook, look at, uh, 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 look at Twitter and whatever. Because there is, a there is a transfer of... Lift those hands and bless the name of the Lord. We worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you. Who you are. We worship seems to be no way. Come on, lift those hands and bless the name of the Lord. We worship you, O God Almighty.